This video is from Incog. Welcome to another Cold Fusion episode. Apple chief designer Johnny O is excited in the fall of 2015. He wants to present his idea that Tim Cook, Apple CEO. Ivy leads Tim Cook to a minivan and tells him to sit. But this vehicle had no steering wheel and was entirely autonomous. Wood and leather upholstery create a futuristic interior. John told Tim Cook to instruct Siri, a human voice actor a few feet away. She impersonated the voice assistant. Tim had to envision the missing pieces. Johnny I even asked this Siri about a roadside restaurant and the actress responded. This seems like a comedic sketch, but The Verge says it was a real event from the Apple car's perspective. An initial demo like that might explain why the project flopped $10 billion later. Does this seem overly cynical? Apple must have seen something to enter the auto industry. In this episode, we'll examine why Apple decided to develop a car, why it spent billions, and why it failed. Please buckle up as we explore why the Apple vehicle never finished. Watching Cold Fusion, TV Bloomberg reports that Apple is abandoning electric car development. According to their claim, the IT giant is closing its EV special projects section, which employs thousands. A Bloomberg claims the team struggled to integrate their designs into Apple's electronics and online services business and where Apple would produce the vehicles is unclear. According to the article, Apple's clandestine rivalry with Tesla is over. Apple has never disclosed a car project, thus they haven't canceled it. However, there was evidence the business was entering the automotive market. Apple applied for 248 car patents from 2000 to 2022, making it their second largest category behind communication and navigation. A top secret Silicon Valley facility has employed many automobile engineers over the years. California Department of Motor Vehicles registrations of Apple drivers and vehicles for testing may be the most evident proof. It was serious and Elon Musk offered to sell Tesla to Apple in 2017. This was during Model 3 production hell. Musk was ignored by Tim Cook. This shows that Apple has been working on automotive ideas for years. Some may argue that Steve Jobs wouldn't have allowed such antics, but you're mistaken. According to Bloomberg, Tony Fidel, who led the iPod project, discussed Apple creating an automobile with Steve Jobs several times and Jobs was interested. We took several walks in 2008 about what car we would create. Dashboards or what? What would seats be? How would you power it? What can Apple do for cars? How do you define a car? A car has batteries, a computer, a motor, and mechanical construction. On an iPhone, everything is the same. If motorized, if you scale it up and say, oh my God, I could create a car with those same components, end quote. Some truth to that. This exchange suggests that Apple considered creating an automobile 16 years ago, even if Jobs didn't prioritize it. It wasn't until 2015 that Apple automobile rumors gained steam. We'll discuss that soon. Understand why the mid-20s were such an interesting time for Apple to enter the market. Tesla had established EV viability by then. EV sales, especially in the US, were rising and Rivian was developing. Apple wanted into the car industry what was so appealing. I'd want an answer, but no one outside of Apple knows. We can make educated assumptions. Apple was already one of the world's most valued firms. Apple had money to change the car industry, therefore they may have wanted to. However, the automotive business is almost 100 years old and EV companies are already innovating. How much can an automobile be redesigned now? There must be a purpose. Apple likely sought to integrate software and hardware as usual. Integrating Apple's 2014 CarPlay into an Apple automobile could enable the tightest connection. Apple has considered dashboard payments for petrol, drive through meals, and EV charging stations according to CNBC. They claim that fully driverless cars would free up trillions of collective transport hours each year for Apple app use. Apple would profit greatly. A 2017 interview with Tim Cook provides the greatest explanation for the change. He told the New York Times that Apple was developing autonomous systems and that autonomous automobiles were robots. He said, we love integrating hardware, software, and services and finding their intersection points because we think that's where the magic happens. We love doing it and owning the core technology around it. Leaked sketches and claims showed autonomous driving, no steering wheels, passengers facing each other, a futuristic table in the middle, and perfect assistance. Given Siri's status, this was far off anyway. One of the first official Apple Car articles came from CBS in 2015. They monitored a self-driving Dodge Caravan in San Francisco and found that Apple leased it. That year, a similar automobile was seen frequently in New York. Some fascinating YouTube comments are here. Nine years ago, people mentioned an Apple automobile. After that, rumors say Apple took many measures to bring Project Titan, the Apple automobile, to market. The Wall Street Journal reported that ex-Ford engineer Steve Zadesky supervised a 1,000-person team in February 2015. 
Apple also considered contracting BMW, Mercedes, Nissan, BYD, McLaren, and Volkswagen, but none of them happened. It appears that Apple had engine troubles before starting the ignition. After a year of rumors and reports, surprising news broke. Zagiski left. Apple sacked at least 12 staff and doubted the project by 2016. After replacing Zadesky, Apple's former hardware engineer Bob Mansfield hired a BlackBerry executive to focus on autonomous driving. Project staff were confused due to a lack of direction and leadership changes. By 2018, workers and leadership changed again. Project Titan employed 5,000 people by year's end, according to the Washington Post. Then Apple went nuts. They increased testing in California and registered more vehicles than Uber and Lyft combined. Apple acquired Drive.ai, an autonomous driving startup, poached an electric motorcycle startup, hired and fired multiple automotive executives from Tesla, and had employees arrested for allegedly stealing and sharing trade secrets with China. The ride was wild. The absence of direction became apparent by 2022. Craig Federighi, Apple's software leader, doubted the proposal. Reports also claim that non-project personnel joked about the initiative. Worse, an Apple test vehicle nearly hit a jogger earlier in 2022. All appeared lost. Apple finally seemed to be putting it together in late 2023. They reduced their goals. Self-driving is gone. It will be a sub $100,000 basic automobile. Yes, Apple's plans have been scaled back. That product's design is likewise being reconsidered. They aim to implement something like Tesla's autopilot with level 2 autonomy, according to sources. It turns out self-driving is difficult. After spending roughly $10 billion, the project was drastically back. Why did it flounder and ultimately die? Find out following today's sponsor's brief message. Hopefully, your automobile entertainment system won't do this. But we've all received scam calls, texts, and phishing emails. But why does it happen? The biggest reason is that your personal information is sold online without your knowledge. Your sold internet information can be used for uninvited scams, ads, surfing patterns, and identity theft. Incov, today's sponsor, can help. They can remove your data from data brokers. After creating an account, Incog can contact data brokers. You may relax and let them handle it. They can even report their progress. Use the coupon Cold Fusion in the link below to get 60% off a yearly Incog plan to protect yourself online. Thanks to Incog for channel support. Return to the episode. Given everything we've learned, why would Apple stop the project after 10 years of back and forth? For instance, hardware executive DJ Navan departed Apple for Rivian in January 2024. He was reportedly a significant project driver, therefore, his exit could have been disastrous. Additionally, autonomous driving was too challenging. Apple's February 27, 2024 internal notification that the project was cancelled was the main cause. Importantly, personnel will join Apple's eye department. Many Titan personnel will move to support machine learning and other initiatives." End quote. Apple has prioritized AI over cars. The bandage was pulled off. Putting good money after bad was obvious. Investors want a full A focus. I think this was a difficult time of starts and pauses on EV initiatives. The writing was on the wall. I think Cook and Serino's concentration on AI is smart and ends this chapter. As you saw in my video from a few weeks ago, Apple is quietly trying to enter the AI market. They are acquiring a stunning number of AI businesses and waiting for the right time to strike. Apple had to act after OpenAI unlocked the AI floodgates. With no apparent direction or leadership, Apple's automobile projects seemed doomed. Apple was undoubtedly overambitious from the outset. In 2015 and 2024, a completely autonomous vehicle is nearly impossible. I discussed Tony Fidel and Steve Jobs' interaction earlier in the film. Steve considered it whenever they discussed vehicles. A common response was, at the end, it was usually like, we're so busy, we're so constrained. It would be fantastic if we could, but we can't. That appears to be Apple's case. Apple has a lot on its plate with so many projects and achievements. The TV and camera ambitions also never materialized. The initiative cost $10 billion in 10 years, so it's not too little but too late for Apple. However, Apple may win out. Apple CarPlay is in 98% of new US cars, which CNBC calls a Trojan horse for the auto industry. No further action. That's the Apple vehicle tale. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.